It's hard to do Even all the feeling heavy Steady chasing you Beep, beep Why are you looking around? You don't Hi guys Alright, I'm coming to you today With a eyebrow tutorial Right now I'm starting off With fresh eyebrows I haven't done either one of them And what I'm going to use today Will be a Color Mate eyebrow pencil In the shade Black Brown I got this at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. It is probably the best eyebrow pencil I've ever used. And I'll also be using a angled brush. This one isn't clean, don't judge. And this is by Wet n Wild. And then I'll be using this new Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation in the shade 13 Chestnut. This is what I used on my face today. I don't know how to get this to come up, but that's what it is. So, I'll go ahead and jump right into it. What you first want to do is brush your eyebrows and then trace it. I'm going to be looking up because that's where my mirror is. Kind of just trace the shape that you want. I like my eyebrows to be sharp at the point, so that's what I'm doing. This definitely works the absolute best on a freshly arched eyebrow. If it's not arched, the thicker it's going to have to be. I hope you guys can see this. You don't want to get it too, too dark at the top. Because you do want it to look a little natural. If that's your preference. I'm kind of in the middle. I want them to be as natural as possible. But also very fleeky. Okay. So. Don't worry if you mess up. Because that's what the concealer is for. You can also use regular concealer, which is what I usually use, but, which is what I usually use, but today I'm going to try this foundation concealer, because I want it to all blend, I'm going to be doing a story time, so stay tuned. What I usually use is this concealer, I got it from the hair store, it is by Kiss Pure Mineral Concealer, High Definition Smart Blend, the shade is Warm Honey. And then it has the doe foot applicator. This is why I really use it. But I'm going to try the concealer stuff today. And if anybody's wondering about Milani, it does have a pump. Don't judge. You don't really need that much product. Just about that much. Can you see it? Just a little bit. All right. I am using an iPhone, so we'll see about this quality. And then just drag it along the arch and the shape that you just created for yourself. And this is to make it as crisp as possible. I got a lot right there, so I'm going to take that and add it to the end. Now the top usually leave it the same and I'm going straight for this sharp angle. That's how you get the look. It's all about the tail end, honestly. And then you blend. Just like anything, blending is always the most important part. So you blend this down to blend it out. 
Now I already did my eyeshadow. So I'm not going to go down that far. But if you haven't done your eyeshadow, then you can do it as far down as you like. And try and maybe conceal your eyelid before you put on your eyeshadow. And that's how you get that perfect arch under your eyebrow. Now if you need a little at the top, just to clean it up or to keep it all the same color, you can go ahead and hit it like that. Blend the top part outward into your forehead. That's why I'm using the same color because it's all the same color right now. So it should blend in. Now if it's looking like a different color, this foundation does oxidize. So it does match the rest. You just want to blend it out, blend it out. My biggest pet peeve is when people use concealer that's too light for them. And then you go on and you see that bright ass highlight under the eyebrow. Hate it. Hate it. But there you go. That's how you get that sharp eyebrow look. Alright, so the reason that I'm doing the second eyebrow on camera instead is to show you guys how it can't always be exactly the same. You see how that one is a little arched and that one is a little more round? So I'm going to show you how to fix that. Same products. Let's get it. Okay, now you see how I made that under eye a little thicker than that side? That's what the concealer is for. I can't do it with that hair. I played myself. What you do is you take some off the top and that should match it up so clean up the bottom take a little off the top and that's how you get that same shape going hey guys so i just finished doing a eyebrow tutorial Alright guys, so that's pretty much the finished product right there. Let me know if you have any comments or concerns down in the box below. Also, remember to subscribe.